kind of dark in here, but we're here to see the bean being signed by Les Paul. And here are all his friends and students. There's only a tone and color of drink. No, 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 Oh, he bothers me. He's okay. He's at okay. home. Yeah. And um, he's doing okay now. Yeah. yeah. He just got to recuperate. You do him, uh, um, uh, 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 you have email? Uh, yes. Okay, I'll give you my card. You can email me. We got some nice pictures. We have to, uh, we'll go to the rest of the going to take care of the going to take care but let me get my shot first, because I got to line up perfectly. I'm telling you, let me get my shot first. I don't want all these extra flashes on his face. This is documentary. This, this is going back, way back. Thank you. You official? <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. director of the Scarab Club, and I'm so glad you could all be here with us tonight for this wonderful evening, honoring such a great man. First of all, I have to, uh, I have to say some thank yous. Um, this is such a challenging time, I think, for the arts in general and for nonprofits in particular. So I really have to thank um, the Herb Foundation, the Presby Foundation, the National Endowment for the Arts, and the Michigan Council of Arts and Cultural Affairs who support so generously our exhibitions and so much of the programming at the club. Um, I don't know if any of you had a chance to get out into the garden yet to see the exhibition out there. It's called uh, Five from Chicago. And we actually do have the five artists from Chicago here. If you're, raise your hands. Okay, it's uh, Terry Karpowitz, Dusty Paul Watersmeet. <laughs> from Chicago and go back to Chicago and say good things about Detroit. Yeah. 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 I'd like to thank um, Agnes Gyra. Agnes, if you could stand up. This is Agnes's work that you see here in the lounge. It's kind of <laughs> Agnes is a member artist and she's on our board of directors and I just think this is a lovely it's like a little love letter to Detroit, this exhibition. So thank you so much, Agnes. I think it's really important. We're happy to have you here. I really have to thank our art advisory committee 
Gilda Snowden. Yeah. Mary, Marianne Wilkinson and Brian Kritzman. We've worked together for the past eight years, and I think they have been so instrumental in moving the exhibitions forward at the Scarab Club. And I, I'm just proud Has and honored to work with you. it been eight years? Eight years. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Time flies. Um, many of you have uh, know Ron Neff or have met him tonight. Ron decided it was best to stay downstairs, but I do just want to say a few words about him. I always think of art as, at some level, it's a solitary act, but it's also always a collaboration because the art that each artist creates is affected so much by their relationship, their experiences, the people they meet. And I think that Ron's work in the exhibition downstairs is so much a collaboration, literally and figuratively, that expresses his friendship and um, and the give and take between himself and Lester. And I just think it's a lovely, it's a lovely idea of, of community. I think it, it really embodies all that's wonderful about that sense of community and give and take between artists. So even though Ron isn't here, let's have a round of applause. <laughs> Most of you are familiar with the tradition of signing beams at the Scarab Club. Um, and the, the club is 104 years old. And they rented space here and there around Detroit. And then in 1928, we're able to open this building. And one of the traditions that has developed over the years is this inviting artists and a politician here and there to sign the, the beams. And the criteria for that is to have made significant and lasting contributions to the arts. And certainly, by that measure, we've had some wonderful artists. Charles, Charles McGee, up here. Did he stay downstairs? Okay. John Haggerty, I think, is with us tonight. Here. Here's John. Another beam signatory. But I think it's a lovely tradition, and um, and there are so many people that deserve to really deserve to be honored. I have to say. Um, Lester is remarkable. I mean, he has he spent 35 years teaching at CCS, passing on his knowledge and experience to new generations of artists. He's been so influential. As a matter of fact, I spoke with, um, with Charles McGee the other day, and he spoke at length about the respect and um, admiration that he has for, for all that uh, all that Lester has done and the, the things, he, how he's worked with him over the years. And Charles McGee, God knows, is a tough cookie. And when he, uh, he holds himself and the people he works with to very high standards. So I think that's high praise coming from him. And everybody knows he doesn't ever say a word that he doesn't mean. Um, when you think 35 years teaching, exhibiting your work in museums and galleries locally, nationally, and internationally, by any measure, that's just a, a tremendous accomplishment. But in spite of that, Lester may be, may possibly be the most humble and reluctant beam signatory we've ever <laughs> invited. And it's not false modesty, because God knows there's nothing less than genuine about Lester. But I think what's important for you to know, Lester, and I think I speak for everyone here tonight, is that even though we honor you tonight, you honor us also by giving us the opportunity to thank you for your example, your inspiration, for all that you've meant and all you, that you continue to mean to this community. for um, coming out tonight. I appreciate it. Um, it's on such a rainy night to have such a large gathering. Um, 
it's probably the food more than anything else. But, uh, I, I really um, uh, respect uh, Ron Neff for sharing this uh, uh, opportunity with me. Um, we've been working together since uh, 1999 on different programs and shows and exhibitions and so on and so forth. And um, I think there's an equal balance here that I'd like to try to make sure that we both appreciate that. And um, I don't want to make a long speech uh, because it's going to take me a long time to climb that ladder. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I do appreciate everybody being here. And, uh, I've been here several times to watch others sign this beam, and I've been uh, very impressed with the selection of people that have been here. And um, it's a lot of humility and uh, actually uh, being part of that tradition. So thanks very much, everybody. So.